Hello everyone, this is Esan. In our previous video, we showed you how you can dynamically get English statements from the user, convert it into a string, then save it into a variable of string type, and then you can print uh, the variable and then also print different integers in a smart way using printf function. Um, <clears throat> So uh, what you can do as well is not only that you can get a string, you could also get integer values from the user. And um, one way to do it is basically just change this part of the code and you say get int instead of get string, you want to get an integer. Then since you're getting an integer, you better save it as an int. So you say int and then uh, you can say Uh, you can say integer value, int integer value. Say for instance, this is the first integer that we are getting from the user, so let's call it one. And then what we could do is we could maybe just print integer integer percent s. I don't know, 365 times. Doesn't make any sense, but just for the sake of uh, stupidity, we do it. Um, actually, we say i. So that way, the integer which got saved as the variable name name, which is an int type, will be printed 364 times. Let's see if that works. Control R. And we say three and it prints integer three, I don't know, 365 times. So integer three. What we could do is basically extend this program to uh, add three numbers. What we could do is we get three values from the user, integer value number two, and then we do integer value number three, and then we say the first integer will be saved in a variable x, the second integer will be saved in a variable named y, and the third integer will be saved in a variable named z and x, y, z are all integer types that why, that's why they have an int preceding the variable name and then we can say that okay we want to print the sum of this number so we want to save all the sum uh, all the things when added into a variable called sum which is also an integer type because you're adding integers so we say x plus y plus z and then we try to print this and we say sum is on just sum sum so we could just run this and we get the first value 3 second value 3 the third value 9 that will be so 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 9 15 let's see if that works out sum is 15 so it works uh, what we could see is the printf function can also do some kind of mathematics it's not exactly the case but i'm just going to tell you that it does know how to do it so one way to do it a uh, different way would be uh, say for instance we say this we say that this placeholder will be replaced by x plus y plus z and let's run this and say 3 plus 3 plus 3 should be 9 it works so what happens is basically before running this printf function um, the C compiler evaluates this value so they add the three values up and the result is passed to the printf function as argument so printf doesn't really know how to add the C compiler does this before and then passes the result into the printf function. So it, this three things does not go directly into the printf function. Their result is passed to the printf function, not these three things individually. I hope you understand this part. Um, <clears throat> so one question that you can have is, um, so since C knows how to do work with integers, 
maybe what we can do is we can just add integers however many times that we want so um, and we will see that this is not exactly the case meaning that since the computer has a limited number of memory or a finite amount of memory when you try to add integers 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 at one point it might cross a certain integer limit that the computer can save and it might overflow that limit and it might gives it might give erroneous results and we'll give you an example of uh, how the thing works so what happens when you get an erroneous result so stay tuned